Wiltshire back deep for Illinois. Alvano with the windows back. Into the end zone for a touchback. And we'll see the Illini offense led by the quarterback, Luke Altmeyer. Out tonight, and Coach Bielma will address that post game. And we've got motion. And not the way they want to start things off. Start. Offense, number 78. Skid goes to Love over the right side, a big hole. And knocked down just past the 30-yard line. Here's the starters for Illinois. Well, they wanted to pound, ground and pound, and so far, so good. Makeshift offensive line. New starter at right guard, and right tackle, and left guard, but led by Josh Kruitz in the middle. And then Isaiah Williams, their go-to guy in the corner, and there he goes. Back to the outside at a pickup of 10. On the year, zero touchdowns. 31st catch of the season for Williams. All wire to the outside. Empty backfield for Altmeyer on second and five. Altmeyer slings it to the outside. That's Williams got a crease out past the 40 yard line and wrestled out of bounds. Second catch for Williams. Bobble the snap. Altmeyer was trying to set up a screen and smartly got rid of it. Nebraska's defensive backfield a little banged up. There's some contact on the defensive front. We're going to have encroachment. Especially when they get in this area, gotta score a touchdown. Second and five, Altmeyer just shovel past it incomplete. This is an area where the Illini have struggled this year, just 32% converting third downs. Altmeyer goes to the air, they pick up a first down. Good opening drive from the Illini. From the 20 in Nebraska territory. Altmeyer gives to Love, breaks to the outside, and a gain of four on first down. Good run. The Big Ten, everybody in America. Fagan gets it. Trying to plow his way forward. Third and short. Inside the 15-yard line. Give it inside, and that second effort getting past the 10-yard line, a first down for Illinois. Ground and pound. Give it to Williams. Trying to get to the outside, and he's inside the five-yard line. Three catches on this opening drive for Williams. Give it to Love inside, and he is marked just short of the goal line. At their own 25-yard line, set up for a little push. Scrum. Who pushed more? It's a rugby scrum. Here we go. Fourth and goal from the inch line. Altmeyer gives to Love. No signal yet. Well, the official on our side of the field marked him short, and they say he is short. Led that time to stop the finish by Robinson and Van Poppel. Henrik Harper trying to just move. Full start. Offense number 65. 6'10", 3'25". So from the one-inch line, Harburg just plows his way forward for long plays from Heinrich Harburg. Evan Johnson in the backfield. Harburg back to pass. Harburg floats it up, going to the sideline, and it's caught! Great catch by the senior, Marcus Washington. It's a two-club <laughs> wind if you're going into it. Take a couple off, maybe three off. Harburg keeps near midfield and a big gain on first down. Bigs in there for Nebraska. Grant Matt right at the line of scrimmage. Third and one. Both sides have to win this. And a false start, it looks like, from the left side of the line. To Turns third and six. six. Yep. And now Voodoo on defense here for Illinois. Harper back to pass, Illinois bringing pressure, wide open, catch made for Doney. Across the 40, down to the 35-yard line. Harburg keeps, slips a tackle, slips another, and finally brought down. That could have been a loss of five. Instead, 
a gain of four. Motion handoff to Grant over the left guard, and he's to the 20-yard line. Good hard run from Anthony Grant. Illinois couldn't finish it off, see what the Huskers can do. Grant's got it, stood up after a short game up front. Again, right side to Grant. Defensive-minded head coach Brett Bielma. See what they have for young Heinrich Carver. Give to Grant, left side, tripped up short of a first down. He's not had an attempt inside 30-yard barrier. This one is up, and it is good for Alvano in Nebraska. The old Miller Light adds. They get a touchback from Kanari Wilcher. One thing Nebraska has done a really good job of is play better defense. Altmaier with plenty of time gets rid of it, but out of bounds, and a flag comes in late. That's going to be holding on whoever was covering Isaiah Williams there. Prior to the pass being thrown, holding defense number 13. No harm, no foul. Kind of like me saying in between innings instead of just media timeout. Outside to Williams for the catch. 30th of the year. Altmaier to the outside. It's Washington, and then that one jarred free. Good hit by Tommy Hill. The pass again. Altmaier finds Williams in and out of his hands. Matthew Robertson kicking into the wind. And you can see that they parachute on Robertson at their own 33 yard line. Harburg hands it off. Joshua Fleeks. Hit in the backfield and able to lunge forward for a gain of one. He and Gabe Ackes, 6'3", 265 as a linebacker. Harburg, incomplete. He was looking for Billy Kemp. Flag on the play. Almost found Miles Scott. Illegal shift. Offense. The penalty is declined. They're down. So Coach Bielma gets the third and nine on the decline. Harburg to pass. Harburg flush to the left. And he'll run forward back to where that get the battle this third and nine instead of the other. Time winding down in this first quarter. Get the playoff. Bring some pressure. Plenty of time. Harburg slings and incomplete. You're going to force a punt. First quarter is over. Nicholson had good coverage on the outside. Bushini back to punt for Nebraska. Into the win. Yeah, Illinois, a great punt rush team. Blocked four kicks on the season. Williams, fair catch. A couple of weeks ago against Northern Illinois. So Illinois gets their third possession. Give it to Love, and he is wrapped up. Play clock winding down. Just able to get it loose. Fumble the snap. Altmaier able to turn it into something positive. Altmaier to pass. Looking screen incomplete on the first possession. And their defense has been stellar since. And they kept way back with this wind at the back. Fair catch called for and secured. Harburg pulls it out. One man to beat. He's got the edge and a stiff arm. Harburg to pass. Slings it over the middle. And it's caught. Remember the wind. You have to remember. Play the wind. Harburg keeps running behind Grant. He's got the edge and out of bounds past the 40-yard line. Harper pushed him out. This is questionable coming into the game. Harper hands it off to Grant, and he is met right at the 40-yard line. Flags fly. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense number 90. 15-yard penalty is added to the end of the run. Includes an automatic first down. 90 is Bryant. You see him crossing face. Drive continues. Only one incompletion so far for Harper. Harper back to pass again. Goes to the right, just throws it out of bounds. Second and ten. Fedoni in motion. Harburg to the outside. 
The tackle in space by Nicholson. Big third down and five. Harvard back to pass and knocked down. Trips on the bottom side of your screen. Harvard to pass again. Pressure up the middle. Harvard slings and it's caught. First and ten. Harvard going for it. Incomplete. He's looking for Grant on the wheel route. Second and ten. Harvard to run it. And he's wrapped up and brought down. Kaneta Odaluga. Harvard. And it's caught again. Vaughn and Coleman on this drive with their first catches of the year. Harvard to pass. Kemp. Just before the barrier goes out of bounds. From Bullock, it's legal because it's behind a line of scrimmage and they're going fast. Harvard pushes ahead, trying to get a little help from behind him. And the officials are coming in, marking him short. Out of the shotgun, Harvard. Hands, Grant leaping for it. Officials coming in, they are marking him short again. Harvard will grab the ball carrier. That is advantage, Illinois, right there. Oh. And oh, just at the late. last moment, touchdown, wow. Nebraska. Alvaro to kick it through. Yes. And he does. 10 0 Nebraska on the road. <laughs> Illinois is going to get the football back with the wind at their back. 6.47 to go in the second quarter. Let's see what that does to this kickoff as well. There it is. I think parachutes. Who's going to come and pick it up? Oh. A Nebraska bounce. Did the Cornhuskers pick it up? Nebraska's saying they have it. And they do. Harburg keeps a seam. Harburg lowers his head into the end zone. A touchdown for the Cornhuskers. Four drives, three of them have netted points for the Cornhuskers. Alvano kicks it through. Yeah, they're going to have to even go further than that. Right now, they're on the 10 and 12, respectively. Bushini to kick. Another pop-up. Calling for a fair catch. It's on the ground. and Single fair catch. Yeah, it was dead ball. Tip Ryman. It's a huge drive. Nebraska looking forward to the second half. They get the ball first. Got to bring something to the party here. Running with Fagan. Past the 20-yard line. Put it in for six. Couple of three and outs. Altmeyer to run. And that hole closed up very quickly by Jamari Butler. Two out of five on third down. Converted their first two. They're over the last three. Put Williams in motion. He's been real quiet recently. Altmeyer steps up. And he's wrapped up and brought down John Bullock. Bullock household is a happy one at the moment here in this first half. Again, Alex with a couple of catches. 16 yards, almost getting a fingertip on it. Fair catch called for by Kemp. Got Maryland, got the Orioles. He'll be at home with Nachos. Grant picks up one on first down. Harassed hit, stopped the run so well. Harvard keeps and brought down by a pair of Illini. Back to pass on third and long. Harburg escapes pressure and goes incomplete. Was looking for Coleman. Bushini back to kick into the wind. It's off a good one. Fair catch called for and secured by William. Anybody's side of the bracket in the West. Altmeyer back to pass goes sideline and a nice reversal and a catch made by Casey Washington. Good pace on that ball. Playing with a little tempo. Altmeyer flushed out. Bullock again in on the stop. Underneath a little slip screen to Washington. Officially a third and five from the 49-yard line of Illinois. Big third down to get. Go to the outside catch is made right at the sticks. Her big eyes could have been a pick. Floating one down the sideline, catch is made! Touchdown, Illinois! Pat Bryant for 
six. A great response for the flying Illini. They get the score. <laughs> and with the wind, he cuts it through. <laughs> Remember, Nebraska will get the football out of the half. They've got two timeouts to operate. Bird to the sideline. Fedoni able to make the catch and get out of bounds. Give goes to Emmett Johnson. Harvard lets it loose and it's incomplete. Stay square, tackle, stay square, tackle. Harvard down the middle. That one nearly intercepted. Harper to the outside. That one almost intercepted right through the hands of Kemp. Kicking into the wind to Isaiah Williams. Fair catch called for at the 34 yard line. Great player. Allmeyer to pass. All kinds of time flushed out. What a catch. Great hands by Bryant. And in plus territory. Altmeyer flushed. Altmeyer stays on his feet. And able to get down. Passing games have been pretty good. 150 yards through the air for Altmeyer. Second and five. And he's going to get dropped in the backfield. Third down and nine. Out to Love in the flat. And a first down. Remember, they have the wind at their back. And Griffin's got a big leg. Low snap. And a smart throw by Altmeyer. Back to pass Altmeyer to the sideline and incomplete from 55 yards. Kick is up and it is short. Ten point lead into the locker room on the road. Nebraska will get the football. And off we go in the second half. It's coming. Hill's coming out. Slips one tackle. Couple of beats, and he's going to get past the 20 yard line. Tommy Hill takes it out. In the fourth. And in motion, Harburg back to pass. Finds Fedoni for a first down. A flag comes in. Holding defense number three. Penalties decline. The result of the play is a first down. Nice design, nice execution. Three catches, 42 yards for Fedoni. First and 10 from the 36, they pitch to the outside to Grant. All day to run, and a huge hit. Hand off to Grant. Goes over right tackle across the 50-yard line. Tight formation give to Grant. Left side this time. Johnny Newton, play clock winding down. Oh, all kinds of motion, and finally a flag flies. I mean, well, he's a member of the law firm. Randolph's in there fighting. False start. Offense, five yard penalty. They're down. There's more in the head of Harburg than the actual pressure. Here they come. Picked up nicely, Harburg to the outside. Hammered. Nicholson jarred it free and picked it up. Such a big false start on yes. Nebraska. High punt, fair catch called for by Williams. Altmeyer gives, that's love. You make the quarterback beat you for the baskets with the option. It only has to be this way, and that's not the way to start. Another low snap. Allmeyer steps up in the pocket. 
Throws middle, he's got his man, and a first down as the ball comes out. Tommy Hill has it going the other way, gets to his own sideline, and another big turnover for Nebraska's defense. Turnover for Illinois. He had some issues in that department all season. Harburg wrapped up by Nicholson, and then another gang of Illini in on the stop. Wrap and finish textbook. Run it to Kemp on the reverse. Third and one. And out to Grant. And he stopped short. Loss of one. Nicario Harper on the stop. Ravano is up and good. Turn it into seven points on the Harper rushing touchdown. Parachutes to the 14 yard line and a fair catch was called for apparently they have not possessed the ball very much Minus 10 minutes in time of possession this is going nowhere and all called correctly yes yep by what we've seen no doubt about it certainly not. Williams in motion tricks. Big tricks trying to follow his blockers and then there are the black shirts yet again Another low snap. Altmeyer, third and a mile, dump it down. It's incomplete. A 30-year-old punter. Wake him up, Mondo. Uh-oh. Got to get rid of it. It's blocked by Nebraska. Out of bounds. And they will spot it at the 22-yard line. And traditional eye formation for the Huskers. Bonner leading the way for Grant, who's stuffed. Harper follows Grant. Third and six inside the 20-yard line. And coverage, and four, and then zoned it out. To the middle, oh, the ball was hanging up there forever. Two for two for Alvano, 31 and 32. Kick is wide left. Perfect on a rainy day. Perfect for a middle linebacker. They get it out, a little screen to Fagan, and he is brought down at the line of scrimmage. Gifford, another nice tackle in space. Gifford and then a great force from John Bullock coming off the edge. You saw five running free. And then just great inside out play there by Isaac Gifford. Second and ten. There's just no space to breathe with this Nebraska defense the way they're playing tonight. All fire to the outside. Catch good. Williams made a man miss. First down and then some. More yards after the catch for Williams. That is his sixth reception of the night. That's what they have to do. They have to get the ball in the perimeter. 17 rush yards all night for Illinois. Get your guy the ball in space. Makes two guys miss. First and 10. Hartzog first, then Brown. For Williams in motion. Ball fake, all Meyer going to slip it out to Williams. Seventh catch and then wrapped up by three Huskers. No gain. Really good coverage right there by the Nebraska defense over the top. They're trying to pump it. Watch it. Pump action here to Williams and throw a little switch route downfield. Nothing do it. Gifford, Hill, eat it up. Henrich with a sure tackle. And then met by two of his other Cornhusker buddies. Second and ten. Altmeyer looking right to the edge, and the catch is made and out of bounds. Ashton Hollins with the reception, just his second catch of the season. Second level of this defense playing great tonight without Luke Reimer, one of their biggest leaders. Henrich Bullock, MJ Sherman in their stead and their backups. Four for ten on third down are the Illini. It's third and five. Under four to play in this third quarter. Another low snap. Altmeyer to the outside. Catch made. Nice Hollins tackle. close. 
Maybe a half a yard short. Tommy Hill with a good go. stop. Yep, yep they got to go. And looks like they might go tempo. But nope, they're going to substitute. So now Nebraska can match. That is a big time play, a big time stop from Tommy Hill. We've seen his coverage ability. We saw his running ability with the ball in his hands. Has played some offense and a great physical finish setting up for them. Bringing the big bodies. Fourth and one. Give up the middle. Fagan is stopped short. Nash Hutmaker was the first man to get his body on him, and Fagan could not pick it up. You said it, man. Nash Hutmaker inside out, 6 4 3 30. The exact same result of the goal line play. Watch the offensive line. They're stabilized, stabilized. And then a finish by a wad. And no chance for Caden Fagan to utilize that big 6'3", 250-pound frame. Here's Hutmaker getting double teamed. Just a little bit of a slip from 66, Slaughter. And Henrich finishes. Slaughter is making the start today at left guard in the place of Josh Geske. Two new offensive linemen there for Illinois. Another stop. Getting it into space is Grant, and he runs out of bounds just before the 40-yard line. Second down and four for Nebraska. I formation with Grant Bonner. And it's a Grant. Awkward pitch. Trying to string it out wide, and a great tackle. And Witherspoon on the edge. The Brown brothers. Showing a no deep zero blitz right here as Nebraska on lines and empty. We'll see if they stay with that or pop out of it. Third and four. Pop out. Harburg behind his big offensive line picks up the first down. Gain of eight. You got your numbers for quarterback draw for sure. And Heinrich Harburg again. 220, 225, whatever he is. Got to fit that up and anticipate quarterback run in that situation. Not be so fast to coverage, because that's what that guy wants to do first. Be a runner, force him to be a passer. Left tackle Corcoran just throwing said McConnell out of the way to open up that big hole. First and 10 from the 36. Coming up on a minute to go in this third quarter. They pitch it out. That's Grant. Wide side, good tackle in space. Harburg pulls it out. He's going to run. And a foot race to the corner. Harburg wins it. Able to push Xavier Scott out of the way. Gain of eight. First down. He starts the clock. Going to set up a fourth quarter, still a two score game right now. See if Coach Rule elects to fight in the fourth, and looks like that's what's going to happen. And we're going to run that clock down to zeros in this third quarter. Nebraska scored just three points, just like they did in the first quarter. Thirteen-point lead for the Cornhuskers on the road, looking for their first conference victory. First and ten, gave up the middle to Emmett Johnson. Pushes near the 20-yard line. Well, the odd quarters, not a lot of touchdowns being scored. Just a couple of field goals. Touchdowns Coming alive here in the fourth quarter? Yeah, we, we're, right, we're all go. about the evens for scores. it would be interesting, these situations with the injuries at running back for Nebraska, if they incorporate all the Reed stuff with Harburg, and Emmett Johnson, just how much they've done that together. Grant was such a good lead blocker and yeah. has been. Harburg gives it Johnson again. Johnson up the middle. Right near the 10 yard line. Fedoni with a good block to spring him free. Flags come in. Counter action. Guard and Fedoni pulling. It was New Illy that time. 
And Fedoni opening up the big hole for Emmett Johnson. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Offense number 66, 15 yard penalty, first down and 10. Eighth play of the drive, they run it seven straight times, run it one more time. Same exact play and another big chunk on first down. Rosiak is going to be the first man in the ice tub at the end of the night. He has been everywhere for Illinois' defense. Nice job up front that time. Emmett Johnson, the beneficiary of kind of the body blow effect of Harburg, of Anthony Grant, of everything else that's gone on, and a couple of big dents in the defense in the last two plays. Chewing a lot of clock with this running game in the second half. Johnson gets it again this time. Can't get out of the grasp of Johnny Newton. In motion, Harburg hits the motion man and slung down, but a first down. Harper. Frustration on that side. Harper gives it. Johnson ball is out. Illinois says they have it. Boy, what another opportunity missed if Illinois comes away with this ball for Nebraska. 13th fumble of the year for Nebraska. Altmeyer all day to throw, slings it to the outside to Fagan. Illinois is going to have to use some young kids at the running back position. That one knocked down. Bullock in there to get his hand on it. Bullock who had a sack earlier in the ball game. Bullock knocks his pass down. This is exactly like Illinois' defense covering up the offensive linemen, firing those linebackers at times. Great picture of Altmeyer. Better job by Bullock in those pipes. Big league stash right there, too, from Bullock. Fagan goes in motion. Altmeyer to the outside. It got knocked down again. Chief Borders, the sophomore linebacker. Chief Borders, you see 14. Altmeyer looking at the perimeter, coming back inside. Gets that big right mitt up, and not so sure that wasn't a good thing for the Illini. That ball might have been picked if that would have gotten to the second level. A lot of white jerseys waiting for it, and now kicking into the wind is Robertson at his last punt blocked. Kick is away. Not of the rugby variety that time. Nebraska's last three possessions. Drop snap. A drop snap does not start oh. well for the Cornhuskers. Had a fumble, a missed field goal. Let's see if where this snap was. Yeah, that's right in his wheelhouse again. Watch his eyes. Young quarterback, catch the ball with your eyes. You have to have the ball to do anything in life. It's such a common deal of a guy like this who does a ton of zone read, a ton of option, with his eyes on a bunch of different things. Gotta be on the ball first. Can't catch what you can't see. That's right. Harburg to pass. Flushed out, a lot of pressure. Harburg slings it out of bounds. Third down and long. And you can hear him from Lincoln. Run the ball. Run the ball. Let's take a look at Harburg. Great discipline right there. That's what it should look like. Ball hits your hand with your eyes. And went to an empty set there. Illinois outnumbered him, brought six. They could only block five. Forcing a throw away, and Harvard maybe a little hitching his giddy up right there. Third and 14. Drop eight. Harburg. Deep sideline, it's intercepted. Xavier Scott comes away with a turnover. Back-to-back -back possessions and turnovers. Got to get points on this drive if you're Illinois. Hand off to Fagan. Trying to push his way towards the 30-yard line. They'll mark him right at the 30. Gain of four on first down. Hutmaker and Henrich in on the stop for Nebraska. 
see a little bit more tempo from the Illini on this drive. Under 10 minutes to play in the game. Under 10 minutes. The clock winds on first and 10 until under two. The screen to the outside. Good run after the catch and a first down. There's Maryland, the real deal. We will find out yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow. Ohio State and Maryland. Altmaier running for his life, finds some space. And brought down just outside the 50-yard line. First down after a gain of 12 for Altmaier. We've got a flag down. Altmaier, that's a great cut. Feeling that void, stepping up and feeling the pressure. Holding offense, number 54. 10 yard penalty, first down. Senior left tackle, Julian Pearl. Called for the holding penalty, wipe out the first down. Right up here at the left tackle, 54. Ooh. That, a lot of times that could be called as what's called a reverse takedown, but that was just getting trucked. He didn't pull him down. That's, that's usually how that happens a lot of times. That'll be on a kickoff return. Tough call that time on Pearl. Uh, MJ Sherman was the one that initiated the contact <laughs> and pushed him over. It's like an offensive foul. Fagan in motion, get it out to Williams. Williams brought down, great tackle by Henrich. Eighth catch of the game for Williams, but Henrich with a nice stop. Yeah, Henrich gets credit, but watch everybody trigger first and 20. Big time screen, draw down, and everybody was dialed in. Look at all those single digits around the ball. Second and forever. Altmaier to the outside, catch good. Ryman on the reception. Still third and a long way to go. Yeah, they're trying to go tempo here, obviously, but right here, third and 15, a must have it, gotta have it situation. Taking a little bit more time and getting the ideal situation protection wise and play call. 12 on third down, Altmaier's got to have it. That's going to be four. Altmaier running out of time. Going sideline, it's intercepted. Another pick thrown by Altmaier. Quentin Newsom on the stop, and he's down inside the 15-yard line. Newsom's first interception of the season. Newsom just sits on this all the way. He can't believe this pick coming at him. Altmaier flushed, pushed out to his right. And this is just like a ball drill interception, trying to force it to Pat Bryant. He was effectively triple team. Watch him zone it off, pass him to that safety. And they've viced it right there. No chance for Altmaier. Got to throw that one away. The result of the play is an interception. It'll be Nebraska's football. After the play was over on Sportsman Mike. 16 of Nebraska. 15 yard penalty. First down. That's number 16's first Unsportsman Like Conduct penalty. Elijah Judy on the Unsportsman Like Conduct. Again, Newsom his first interception. That's as easy a pick as he will get. Penalty is just taking him off the pile. Not a lot there. Yeah, must have been something else after that. But as you said, yeah, pulling him off the pile. It's the opponent is a 15-yard penalty, but that must have been something verbal after that. We saw the note on Altmaier. He's been pretty good here recently at not giving up the ball. He's got eight picks, but that's his first in almost 100 pass attempts. He had not thrown an interception since the third quarter of the Penn State game back on the 16th. A toss to Kemp and pushed out of bounds. Second down and four for Nebraska. Johnny Newton bit on the fake and Harburg was able to get out and for a first down. Newton, he was not going to be faked out by Anthony Grant. At yeah, that time it was a read, so they're reading Newton right there. Hey, 
When those guys are really tough to block, you know, you do read them. Don't try to block them. They cut him loose right there. <laughs> when he squeezes it, Harvard keeps it. First down. That's the best tackle Newton has on a non-ball <laughs> carrier in the game. First and ten. Handoff goes to Grant. Back in the ball game and another stop by Rosiak. And a man down. Mary Noeli a little bit banged up for Nebraska as well as Seth McConnell. See the rushing yards tonight. Three different Huskers have outrushed the entire Illinois team. Yeah, the second half Illinois has minus four rushing. Total yards in the half at just 58 for Illinois' offense. And it feels like Nebraska has had the football in plus territory this entire second half. Yeah, just three points off of it. Another short field with this drive. Harburg, the leading rusher with 73 yards and a score. Grant's carried it 18 times. Remember, he missed a couple of series. Good to see him back on the field and the ball control. It's been an issue for Illinois all season long. They're minus five on the year coming into the game. Turnovers, three and outs, leads to a huge discrepancy in that time of possession. Second and nine and a false start. Noeli was a little hobbled on the last play. Jump the gun. Yep, another stem, that movement up front. Ball start, offense number 63. There he is. Harburg left side on the take, around the outside, and steps out of bounds near a first down. Up and over 80 yards on the ground. Another replay here, and then two. Two protectors come around to see Fedoni trying to finish on Xavier Scott. Everybody else in there battling. Good ball security. Don't take a shot. Young Heinrich smartly getting out of bounds. After that penalty, backed him up. Third down and maybe a half a yard. Play clock winding down. Harburg has it. Hand off to Grant up the middle. Knifes his way for a Nebraska first down at the five-yard line. Illinois basically in goal line defense mode right there on third and inches. Matt Rule challenged his team after that, as, as he called it, and appropriately so embarrassing loss against Michigan last week. Those types of situations are what he's challenging most. Short yardage, the run game, being able to pound the rock, being able to stop the run. This Illinois defense, because of the turnovers on the offensive side, they have had to be pinned back a ton of times. Five different drives starting inside Illinois territory for Nebraska today. And more laundry. Fedoni. Ball start. Offense, number 24. Five yard penalty, first down. The most offensive homer in the world. And I, I hate that. It's hard. It's really yeah. hard, but you got to simulate it. And Nebraska will see it from here on out. First to goal from the 10. Harburg keeps swallowed up at the 15 yard line. Second to goal from the 15. Grant trying to find some space. Ball is out. Looks like Illinois got it. James Krutz. As Aiden Loffery next to him in the game for the first time, the freshman. Picked up the blitz, and it's incomplete. Was trying to get his tight end, Ryman. And three. Altmaier to the outside. He's got a man. It's caught and driven out of bounds. Casey Washington with another reception. And here come the Illini. Altmaier flushed. 
wide open. Catch. A double twist. We'll see what they do again. Four man rush. They're showing straight rush. Lyman. Hustle from Robinson. Nine right there. Coming from the D line all the way downfield. Combining for the tackle. More yards on this little stretch here from Illinois than they've had the entire half. And all no fire. timeouts for Nebraska here. Was out of bounds. That was wisely done by Altmeyer. Nebraska drop eight. All kinds of time. Dump it off. Catch made by Fagan. Third down. Great job protecting the sideline by that Nebraska defense. Changing up here, bringing pressure. Third and four. Altmeyer over the middle. It's broken up as opposed to their what they run normally down three men. Allmeyer across the middle, good for a first down and a sure handed catch by Ryman. Needed four, got seven. Got to go near the two minute mark in the fourth quarter. Now they'll stop if they get a first down under two minutes. The clock will stop. Taylor. Pressure coming. Allmeyer skips through it. And throws it out of bounds. Smart play. The pass goes middle. Nice shirt tackle. Clock still winds. Coming up on 90 seconds. Altmeyer has to get rid of it again. Brings up another fourth down. Sprint left. Altmeyer incomplete. Broken up again, and there's that guy, Isaac Gifford. Harvard hands to Emmett Johnson. A couple of kneel downs here for Harburg. Teams were trying to give it up all night long, back and forth, but as you said earlier, a ton of stuff to, to fix over the bye week. Off of a win just makes it that much better, that much sweeter. Heinrich Harbour did a lot of great things, a running back position, but they are right in the thick of it. Matt Rule is going to pick up his first Big Ten victory as the head coach of the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Big special thanks to our stats man, Tom Barbary, our spotter, Scott Snyder. It has been a good week in Champaign as Matt Rule and the Huskers come on the road and beat Illinois. Yeah, tough day. Tough day on the Illini sideline and our, our thoughts again with the Buckus family.